Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I'm Doug Brown and today I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft Excel and the Memory Backup Restore feature of SysMax Studio to load large blocks of recipe data into the NJ. So to start out with, let me show you my spreadsheet. This contains uh, about 100 recipes and each recipe has a number of different values in it. I need to get this data from my spreadsheet into my NJ. Um, over on my NJ, in SysMax Studio, I've created a recipe structure, and that contains each of the elements you saw in the spreadsheet, the name, the enabled, repeats, set point, delay, position, all various data types. I have created a global variable, which is an array from 0 to 99 of that recipe structure that I created. Uh, now, if I want to get that data in, one of the ways I could do it would be to drop it into the watch window, as you've seen I've done here, but I'd have to, in this case, go and type values in at each individual line and that would take me a long time to get several hundred values in. And there's nothing to say that that couldn't be several thousand values also. So let's find a better way of doing this to, uh, to automate this, to get the data from the spreadsheet into the NJ quickly. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to go to the Tools menu, Backup, and I'm going to do Backup, Variables, and Memory. I'm going to pick a file name. I'll call it NJ Mac, yeah, NJ memory backup XML. I'm going to deselect uh, the last two options here. I just want to um, log the present value of retain attribute variables. Click execute and it goes ahead and makes a backup. So let me show you quickly what I have now. This actually is an XML file, which is uh, a text file uh, that's marked up somewhat. Uh, in, in the top of the file, you can see that there's some version, the name of my project, device type, the unit version, and then we get into the actual variable data, and you can see it's basically variable, colon, slash, slash, and then the name of my tag, the data type, and the value. And it just goes on like that for the several hundred values. So that's a pretty uh, easy to understand format. Um, again, it's not easy to edit it here. I want to get this into Microsoft Excel. Unfortunately, uh, Excel allows us to do that fairly easily because it supports a bunch of XML services. Uh, it's a little hidden, so to turn on the XML support, we need to go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and enable the Developer tab. And you'll see now I have this Developer tab, and I'm going to click on in this XML section here, the Source tab brings up a little window. I'm going to create a mapping between this file that I got from my NJ, the NJ memory backup.xml. Gives us a little warning that uh, there's no schema defined, so Excel is going to create a schema for me automatically. And what you see now is that Excel has figured out the format of the file. It says there's a header, a version, all the ID stuff. Um, then there's a section, this little blue dot indicates that there's multiple items with name, data type, and data. So it's all that stuff that we saw in the XML file. So what I need to do, I'm going to go to a separate tab here. Uh, all these items need to be mapped to be able to export properly. So I'm going to stick the header information up at the top. I also need to put the CJ and absolute encoder data in. So again, just dragging and dropping onto the screen. And then I'm going to select all the item data. Now, because it's multiple, it goes in in kind of a table format. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, so let me show you what this all does now. I'm going to go refresh data. And this now just imported all the data from the XML file right into my Excel spreadsheet. And you can see there's the variable name, the data type, and the data. Now everything's in the XML uh, realm. So it's pretty easy to get the data from over here into the uh, the column over here. What I'm going to do to make it uh, a little easier on me, I'm going to sort by the data type. And this is going to make it a little easier to get the stuff from the, uh, the first column. So the first thing there was all my Boolean data. So I'm just going to copy that, go to sheet 2, and paste it in. The next data will be my integer stuff. From the heater set point. Oops, that's not a number there. So 
So I'm just cutting and pasting. Uh, when we get to the real number, it actually shows up as uh, raw hexadecimal. That's There's not accidentally any uh, conversion issues. So I've actually gone ahead and done the conversion from these real numbers into the hex values. You can do that either from Sysmax Studio to make your backup. There's some online tools. Um, you can even go into CX Programmer and use that to, uh, to correct that format. So a variety of ways of doing that. Uh, next we have the string. The string is a little special as well. Uh, if you notice, uh, what it's looking for in the PLC is actually the raw hex codes of each character, again, in case you have special uh, escape characters or anything. So 52 is a capital R, 65 is a lowercase e, and so on and so forth. So that's where those values are coming from. Uh, time. Time is stored in nanoseconds in the PLC. So here's my times here. So this very top column, 2.5 two and then 8 zeros, that's actually 2.5 uh, seconds is what that represents. Uh, and lastly, we have the unsigned integer. And that one is just a straight number. Nothing special there. OK, so now I've loaded my values into all these columns. What I need to do now is get this back into an XML file that can be loaded back into the PLC. And I'm going to go up to my Developer tab, click Export, and I can save that in another XML file. Back to SysMax Studio, as you can imagine, we go to Tools, Backup, Restore Variables in Memory. I'll pick up my modified file, Execute, and now down in my watch window, there's all my data. So that saved me a lot of time versus trying to type in hundreds of uh, variable names. And that's how you get large blocks of data from Excel into the NJ.